Okay, so in PHP there are the usual kind of arrays. So this is a kind of a demo of how those uh, work and look. So the first thing I need to do is uh, get my PHP tags opened here. So let's start this. And here's the closing one. And I will write my PHP in between them. Um, so there's a couple ways to make an array in PHP. Um, the first one is that you can just start uh, writing stuff out. So if I want to um, put some names of some sodas inside my array, I can do it uh, like this with just empty square brackets. And what it does is it just um, creates that next element and puts the value in it. Um, so I will have three sodas in there. Um, and then there is actually a little function that already is existing called print R, and it will give me a real quick, ugly picture of my array. So let me run my server and then open the link so I can see what's going on here. Uh, open. Okay, so this is my array demo PHP. So here's my picture of my array that PrintR gives me. Um, you'll see it's it's very ugly. It doesn't look like something you'd actually want to display on a web page. It just simply says this is an array, and here at index 0 is the word Coke, at index 1 is the word Pepsi, and at index 2 is the word Sprite. So this little PrintR function or method is literally just for your own debugging purposes. You would not put that into a production um, website as the finished product, but while you're working, it's a good way to check on what the values are. So that's the first way to load stuff into an array. The second way is that I can just um, preload some things and not have to do them individually. So I can, let's make a list of juices. I can put the word array here, and then I can set a bunch of values inside it. Um, in other languages, this is usually curly brackets that goes here, but in PHP, it's regular old parentheses. So in between these guys, I can list out some juices. So let's say Welch's... Uh, Capri Sun, which is really stretching the line calling that a juice, but I can load them in like that and it will simply put them into each successive index. So if I save that and refresh my page over here, uh, there's my juices. Okay, so um, the first thing I might want to do is not use this ugly little printer function to see my things, I might want to use a, a loop to iterate over them and make like a nice list. So let me um, start my list by echoing out my tags um, that go with it. First, I'm going to put these guys in an unordered list so they are nicely formatted for a web page. Um, so what I want to do is I don't want to have to manually visit every element in my array. I want to use a for loop to accomplish this. So I'm going to start a for loop. First index of my array is zero. Um, and I could manually code in a number here, but I actually have a built-in PHP function called count that'll figure out how many elements are in the array if I put the array inside the parentheses. Um, and then I can increment by one each time. And for each of these guys, I want to echo, first of all, um, I'm going to need my, my closing and opening tags for my list items. So let me put those here, and then I'll add in the the array access in the middle. All right. And then remember in PHP, the character to concatenate isn't a plus sign anymore, it's a dot. So I'm going to do that. And then let's get the soda array. And I want element i. And then we'll tack on the other piece. So if I save this, in fact, let's echo a little title here. Save this and we'll get my refresh page. And there's my sodas nicely formatted in an unordered list. Um, I want to warn you the biggest error I see in student code is when they're in some kind of loop like this, um, they accidentally leave off the dollar sign because they forget about it because it's very easy to forget about. Um, but that's how I would output this nice and neat. Um, there is an additional little loop. Um, since most of the time we want to visit everything in the array, um, there's a thing called a for each loop that lets me sort of abbreviate some of this. Let me show you what that will look like. So instead of having to worry about where it starts and where it ends, this guy just says, for each thing, um, I want to take my array name, and I want to take each one, one at a time, let's just call it S, and for each one I want to echo Li. 
and then I want to echo the S out, and then the closing list item. So if I look at this guy, this means take the list called soda, take out one element at a time and save it in this little temporary variable, and then in between these curlies, the current element is referred to as just S. So let's just verify that this still works when I go back to my preview page. Yeah, there's my elements. Um, and I can just sub this out for juice really easily if I wanted to. And you'll see now I have my juice names. I didn't change my title, but there's my juice names. So for each loop is a real quick way to go through the entirety of array um, and see what's in there.